Welcome back to Seblems, everybody. Praise be to God, and uh, we're continuing with the Meg Sebites rank. We have two levels left. We only got for one yesterday. Wasn't a fan of the last level, but hopefully Circuit Breakers will be better. We have 29 lemmings, which is a weirdly specific amount. We have to save them all. One release rate, but it's not locked this time, so that's nice. Oh, well. It's that every day we have a Kleiber pickup skill. Uh-oh, 666. Six, six. That's not good. I think I've seen this level before. I think Mobius streamed this one. Man, Fluffs, you just put the Seb letters in, it, like, everything. stack there, one person will get up. Oh, two people will get up, actually. Oh, that's not enough to get them out. We gotta use that from farther back then. Again, I like solving these levels just by trying stuff until I try the right stuff and that stuff works. Oh, I'm gonna need the corner for up here, I'm guessing. I'm at least fairly certain you gotta use the blocker at the beginning. Oh, we could use a miner here. Hmm. focus on trying to hit as many buttons as I can on this level. At least doing that to start. all of them. Not a very circuity song, if I may say so myself. That's one way to hit a button. Still don't really know how to get rid of that stacker there. I suppose I could platform there, except... I feel like I'm probably gonna need that. Okay, really, you died? Oh, 
Doing this means we can't stack our way out. Or doing this means we can't platform over the stacker. I want to play this one out a little bit. So we can do that. No dice. Well, I can hit that button. If he wasn't a glider, he could hit that one. But there's no way for him to enter that teleporter without him being a glider. <sighs> hmm. Let's try something else. At voila. I can't believe he does that. I definitely remember seeing this level from somewhere. Yeah, I don't really know how to turn the climber gliders around. That's part of the problem. And I don't have no idea how I'm going to hit all of those buttons. Well, there we go. That'll help. I should be focusing on trying to hit all the buttons, first of all. Because now we can put a blocker up here to turn them around, which will be very nice. So I think I will do that right now. So if we do 
this. Now we have two destructive skills left. What happens if we do something like this? Aha! Oh, I like the look of this. Because now I can do... That. Oh, I don't quite hit that? Are you serious? I don't hit either of them if I do that. So I've got the tricks there. Now it's just a question of how the heck to hit this button. Hmm. That hits every button except this one. So if we rewind... After you finish this minor tunnel, like, where do you go? Okay, there's no way we can glide from there to that. We might be able to glide from there to that if we can stop him from being a glider immediately, but I don't see any way to do that, because that is definitely splat height. We're definitely going to need a miner there. Definitely. And that seems like the best place to use the cloner. So one miner there. One miner there, one miner there. So I'm wondering if we can save the stacker. And actually, I'll just try it out. So keeping with my original idea of using the blocker there. So if we do this, and then just immediately platform once we get out, well...
Oh, come on! Alright, well, there goes that plan. I do like what I do in this replay. Maybe don't use the blocker immediately, though. If only I could mine through that, that would be very useful. something like really precise with that blocker. So like what happens if we mine through like at the top? Okay, so yeah, he teleports that way. That could be useful. See what I'm wondering if we mine at like a really weird angle and we like glide hit that guy and keep gliding and don't quite hit the steel. Would that work? So, like, if we push, if we put the blocker, eh, let's put him a little farther forward. Yeah, that could work. That could work. All right. Maybe I mine in such a oh, maybe I can mine in such a place where I can hit every button. Like if I mine in such a place and then he falls out, like could I mine to the right? Like if I mine here, he hit, maybe he could hit the button. What happens if I mine it as far that way as I can? He does hit that. Okay, that's good. Now what happens if he falls? Okay, that way it's still no dice. See, I feel like two of these we should be able to get with one miner. So I did that. Is there a way to hit like these two in the same go or these two in the same go? I still like the idea of put of uh, saving the stacker so you can stack up here. Thank you. 
I feel like I've come really close to the solution. Really the only thing I can be like, I definitely have to do that here is like, minor cloner right there, basher there. And then minor up here. Floating circuit ropes here are the hard part. Because by all appearances, you... <clears throat> Getting up on that steel block is hard. Like, if I didn't have to use the platformer to get up on that steel block... Lemmings can make <laughs> playing games just as even more challenging than your homework. Closest I've come. But even then, that still leaves that one button open. So if we reach this point, 
So I will break through if I do that. My question is, will that lead him to this platform? It will. Well then, I think we have our solution. That's a little mean. Just gotta say. Yeah, these are really precise miners. I'll put the blocker even closer to the edge. Oh, jeez, Louise. That was insane. Not quite as bad as the last one, but... Wowie, wowie, wow. That was a tough one, but we're only at the half hour mark, so I think I'm at least going to give this next uh, last one a try. Can you hear me? Oh, shoot. Well, this is a Wafflem level, like he made the terrain because it's huge. And he carved the SCB letters as well. Really? Okay, well, let's hope it's an easier one. So the exit's there. Oh. Okay. So is this just going to be like a, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, go around? Probably. Just gonna try stuff. It's always the best thing to do. Really? That's liquid. Builders are definitely our commodity on this level. Thank goodness there are no deadly ceilings.
Just say no. Well, thus far, this level doesn't seem to be posing any huge problems. I probably just jinxed it. But it seems relatively straightforward. You just have to be smart with your skills. Oh my god, okay, that's really, really cool. <laughs> I actually really like that. The question, of course, now is, do we have enough to reach the exit? By the way, this is an amazing tile set. This is made by Zanzendorf. He makes really pretty tile sets. Yay! Wait, what the heck happened to you? What? Oh, he's, he's there. Okay. I'm like, what happened to our climber? Wow, okay, that was an incredibly easy level. Like, I feel like I've almost forgotten something, but I don't think so. Oh, there's a hatch. There's a hidden hatch over there. Well, that explains it. That makes it a bit harder. I literally did not even know that hatch existed. Because it's not obvious there's a hatch there. Hmm. Well... Let's see, we only need a builder. One builder. We've got a lot of miners left. Actually, we could, we could potentially still make this work. First off, I'm going to save this. Save this replay I have here in case I need to go back to it. That's not nice, though. Because that's one pixel off. Yeah, the minimap was so big, I didn't even notice the other hatch of lemmings. Okay. Now we just have to be a little more sparing with our bashers, but it should be fine, because we can use miner there. Oh, even better! Oh, but I do have to be careful now of things where... Oh, only the climber can get through that. So... He can get up for that. Anyone can get up for that. Okay. That's the one thing, I guess, now. But that's okay. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah.
This is still a much easier level than the others that we've seen thus far. Ah, out of diggers. Well, that is a big problem because we do need to save a digger for the end. So, yeah, so for right there. Or actually, maybe we can. Okay, that's cool. No big deal. Question. Is that still splat height? Doesn't appear to be. Excellent. Alright, now let's see if I can get these, these builders just right again. I see. I see. be nice to save a basher for the end. But that's not going to happen. Everybody, you're all congregated to this one spot. There you go. Everybody goes from except that guy. Wow, yeah, that was way easier than the last <laughs> uh, several Meg Sibite levels. And that's it for the Meg Sibite rank. So we are just plowing through the pack. We are finally at the unrequited rank. Only Deep Cuts remains after that. And Deep Cuts is only 15 levels as opposed to 20. I'm not really that scared for either of these packs. I know Flopsy said that there are a couple unrequited levels that are super hard. But, like Meg Sibite's the first 
several of them should be pretty easy. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day, and as always, God bless.